What? Oh, hey. <clears throat> Hi. I'm Garrison. And you're not. And this is my iPod vlog number 193. 193. Yes, iPod vlog number 193. Today's date is July 11th. 2016. Today is Monday, and this is the second part of Monday Madness. Monday Madness. Monday Madness. <laughs> yeah. Monday Madness. Monday Madness. Woo. No flares, tongue waggles. It's that time again. Monday Madness, we're going to talk about rules. Rules are good for some things, and sometimes rules are stupid. Like when your sister or brother tells you that they, there's a rule that you cannot go in their room when they're not there because they'll beat you up. Well, then you just do it anyways. <laughs> No, you don't. And then they tell you, don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff when I'm not there. Don't go in my room. I remember the good old days when I was a kid. My brothers, uh, I, whenever they had their own room, they all say, don't come in my room when I'm not here. Don't touch my stuff. They sounded Irish. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my legacy. <laughs> Rules like that you can break because they're just your stupid brother or sister or whatever. Yeah. Or a family member says, Don't go in my room when I'm not there. Yeah, and like my mom said, Don't go in my room when I'm not there. And don't pull, don't mess with my stuff. And of course, I when I was like like eight or nine or something, I went in my mom's room and I sat at her, her I, this desk with a with a giant mirror on it, you know, a mirror, a vanity mirror, and had like a desk and like a chair, I sat in the chair, and then I put oil fillet all over my face. And guess what happened? <gasps> my mom came inside the house and into the room and saw me sitting there with oil fillet on my face. And of course she freaked out and said, what are you doing with my oil fillet? Is that, what is that on your face? You know, is, is that my oil fillet? You know how expensive that is? Blah, blah, blah. And then she went and told my dad. And of course he had a good laugh. <laughs> and told me, leave your mom's stuff alone. I don't know why I put oil volley on my face. I just wanted to know what it was like to have oil volley on my face. Oh! I was a special child. No, anyways. Rules. That kind of rule I can understand. If your parents tell you not to go in their room when you're not there and don't get in their stuff, then don't go in their stuff and, and don't put oil volley on your face, okay, people? Don't do that. It's not right. It's not right to put oil volley on your face, especially if you're a guy. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Or the one time when I was little, about, I don't know, the four or five maybe, maybe six, uh, I remember I put my mom's shoes on and I tried to walk around in them, you know, high heels. Uh, yeah, they weren't really high, but they're like inch or two, whatever. And uh, and I was walking in <laughs> and my mom said, don't put my shoes on. Mom, if you want to put shoes on, why don't you try your dad's shoes on? So I put my dad's boots on or whatever and my brother Mark put my dad's shoes on. We were little, really little, and, and uh, we took a picture of it. I think I was three, and he was two, or he was two, and, or he was two, and I was three, and or he was three, and I was four, something like that. And then later on, I I I, I put my mom's shoes on, like I said, and she said, "Oh, my mom's shoes, but my beard, you know, try your dad's shoes out or something like that, you know, because that thought they thought it was funny." But my mom didn't think it was funny when I wore her shoes. Nor did she think it was funny when I was older and uh, I put a beautiful lay on my face. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but I think it's a funny memory. I have weird memories. Yes. Anyways, that's rules. Another rule is do not, do not, uh, if you think one of your friends is gay, do not grab them by, by your, their hands behind their back or have one guy do that and another guy pretend he's pulling down his pants because there's going to be punching happening. See, when I was a kid, for some reason, my friends, Wanted to know if I was gay or not. So one of them grabbed my arms from behind my back and held, held him like that. Another guy pretended to be un to be unbuttoning his pants or whatever. And, and then uh, I go, if you take anything out of your pants, I'm going to bite it off. 
and then I'm gonna beat the crap out of you guys. And of course, I got loose from one guy and I started taking my fist up and I was about to punch somebody and they go, oh stop, stop, oh my god! You know, they're like a, like little babies. Like, who's the gay one now, right? Little girly guys, dude, right, come on now, I'm gonna punch the crap out of them. And they say, oh no, it's a test. We were just testing you to be, if you're gay or not. I go, why would you think I was gay? Because cause you talk to girls. You like girls, you like to hang out with girls. Like, what? Is this, is this when you turn on the cricket? You know, like, what the crap? So what if I hung out with the girls and I talked to girls like they're people? That's what people do, right? Ah, I was they're like, because I wasn't trying to pick up a girl, like, oh, you want me to be my girlfriend? <laughs> no, I just talked to them like, hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm your pal, buddy. You know, I have friends that were girls, and I had friends that were guys. Nothing, no big deal to me, right? I'm like. 11, 10, 11, 12, something like that. And I'm like, I was like, I think I was 10 or 11, probably 10, 11 years old, maybe. And then that just didn't make any sense. What the, how's that gay? If I was gay, I would be dressing up like a girl with the girls, or hey, let's put some makeup on, or something even more weirder than that. I don't know. I don't know what I'd be doing if I was gay. But, anyways, I wouldn't be like talking to a girl like a friend. That's just stupid. I wasn't their gay friend. I, I, at least I don't think the girls thought I was their gay friend. They didn't actually ask me out or anything. Hmm. Maybe they thought I was their gay friend, and then my friends thought that I was their gay friend. <gasps> no! <laughs> I'm straight, by the way. Anyways, that was funny. But anyways, the rule was, do not give your friends a gay test. Because that's stupid. Whether they're gay or not, it doesn't really matter. That's between them and whoever they're with and God and whatever. You know what I mean? And, and it's stupid, right? And when you do that gay test, you're making yourself gay. I mean, who, who unbuttons their pants and pretends they're going to do something with somebody, you know, somebody with the other guy holding their arm? That's just stupid. That's gay right there. You know what I mean? It's like a bad porn, bad gay porn. And I was in the middle of it. And I got it out. I got out of it. I got it out. <laughs> I hope I didn't. I got out of it by my fist. And I almost clobbered my two friends. Both of them, for some reason, named Jason. Like Jason Voorhees, you know, like, hmm, hmm. I also had a friend named Fred, Freddy Krueger. I had a friend named Jason, another friend named Jason. One of them could have been Jason Voorhees, and my friend Fred could have been Freddy Krueger. I could have been in a horror movie if it was for. I could have called the movie The Two Jasons and the One Garrison in the Middle. Ah, a horror movie. It could have turned out bad when I just my fist in their mouths. You know what I mean? But luckily, we, we made friends again, and, and everything was hunky-dory, and I was really upset for a while, and they were, like, apologizing all over the place because I was a lot taller than them, and I was a lot stronger than them, and I was going to clobber them. And one thing you do if you are going to do some stupid tests like that, make sure you're bigger than the other guy, because if you do this to a really tall, strong guy, he's going to clobber you. <laughs> really? Uh, anyways, <laughs> rules. Some rules are good. You know, when your parents give you some rules, they're all right. You have to obey them until at least until you're 18 and you get get out of the house or find your own place. Because even if you're under their, their roof and their house, you might have to follow the rules. You know what I mean? Yeah, that sucks. But anyways, that's what I'm talking about rules. They're not actually law. So if it's not a law, you can break a rule. A law you shouldn't break because you get arrested. But a rule you can break without getting arrested. But you can get in trouble with your parents if you do break your parents rules even when you're an adult because some parents are really crazy both my parents are dead so I have no rules to break but I always obeyed my mom even though I was an older person and she told me to give, give me advice but don't do that don't do this don't talk like that don't act like that shave your beard and mustache off if you're not gonna grow it all the way out or at least keep the mustache. I don't like the beard. The beard looks kind of like a goat or Satan and I'm like thanks mom my my, my beard when it came out because it grows in two two sections, right here and here, and it, and it has this little, this is called a barbiche, or a soul patch. And and then uh, my beard, when it grows out, it goes straight down, and it grows, and it separates in the middle, and it kind of looks like a goat, or Satan, according to my mom. And then, of course, I don't grow anything the size of my face. That's because I'm part Native American. And Indian. Indian being, as in the Indians that wear the, the turbans, and they live in India, okay? Not... Because I'm part Native American too. As a matter of fact, Cherokees wear turbans too. That's strange. One of my mom's ancestors from India. I'm sure that her ancestors or her family wore turbans. The men did. Some of them. 
uh, most of them probably. And of course, my, on my dad's side of the family, my great-grandmother, she was Cherokee, and the men in the Cherokee tribe, they wear turbans. So that is strange. The Cherokees wear turbans, and people from India wear turbans. Why are my eyes closed like that? It's not bright in here. Anyways, obey the rules when they, when they are good rules, okay? And they don't infringe on your rights unless you're a child. And obey the law, unless the law infringes on your rights, like the freedom of religion and speech, and the freedom to assemble, and the freedom of protest, and the freedom of press right and yeah okay anyways I gotta go in the vlog I hope you like my weird stories about my past and don't tell anybody about it <laughs> keep it just between you and me YouTube no one watches my channel anyways there's only like seven subscribers I used to have eight subscribers someone left I don't know who it was anyways in the vlog I gotta go it's been a fascinating digital world, and I'm glad you're in it with me. It's been a fascinating digital world, and I'm glad you are in it with me. But we have to go now, or I have to go. You don't have to go, but I have to go. Anyways, gotta go. End of the vlog. End of the vlog song. Monday Madness, part two, ending. This is vlog number 193. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog, 194, where I talk about... Ooh, it's Pecan Pie Day tomorrow. Ooh. I'll be talking about pecan pie and desserts and whatever else I like. And maybe some other stuff. Because I always babble and blab and, and ramble and whatnot. Uh, in the vlog.